solve for x if we have this logarithm equation log base x of 8 is equal to 3 fourths. Now the first thing we should recall is how to write log notation in terms of exponential notation, right? So we know that y is equal to log base b of x is the same thing as x is equal to b to the y power. So now that we have that, what we can do is um, equate variables, right? So in this case, here the base b is equal to x up there. The x in the equation, right, let's put these in, in quotations here, is equal to 8, and the y is equal to 3 fourths. So if we want to replace this b, x, and y into this exponential equation here, what this would end up being is x, which is 8, is equal to b, which is x to the y, which is 3 fourths. So now we want to solve x to the 3 fourths is equal to 8. So. Let me rewrite that like so. So now, in order to get rid of this x, what we can do is take both sides to the 4 thirds power. So remember, when you take an exponent to another exponent, you have to multiply the exponents. So in this case, on the left, we multiply 3 fourths times 4 thirds, which the numerators cancel out with the denominators, and so we end up just getting 1 over 1, which is just 1. So on the left side, we just have x to the first power, and on the right side, we have 8 to the 4 thirds power. So we have x is equal to 8 to the 4 thirds power. And now we should try to simplify this if we can. So remember, we can write 8 to the 4 thirds power as 8 to the 3rd power to the 4th power. So the 1 third power to the 4th power, using this, the same law up here, right? <laughs> the same law that we use because if we multiply it back in, it's just going to give us 4 thirds. But 8 to the 1 third power, since um, rational exponents are power over root, this is the same thing as the cube root of 8 to the fourth power, and cube root of 8 we know to be 2. So 2 to the fourth power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, so that's 16. So now x is equal 16. And so that is our solution for our logarithm equation.